Hello there, Taurus. Welcome back to the Alyssa Illuminator. We're going to check in with any spiritual messages and see if you are spiritually in alignment with your path and any messages that want to come through. All right, we're just going to go with the flow, take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Protection, cutting the cord. All right, so it has been a period where you felt quite drained. All right, it could be like spiritually feeling energetically drained or there has been some drama that's been going on around you or some type of judgment. Some things that happened here in the recent past that really left you a little bit um, vulnerable. And I feel like this is kind of like saying that you need to perform a little bit more when it comes to protecting your energy that could be energetic but that could also definitely be like speaking up your boundaries being able to say no and no tolerance or acceptance of behaviors that are disrespecting your energy you have a big as no <laughs> coming through well that is talking about not taking any type of action right now because there is some type of chaotic energies ahead of you so needing to pause instead of like going into it with like just kind of like take a chill pill uh try to relax well i don't feel like this is a very relaxing energy but i do feel like this is saying that you should take a step back and not chase the energies to change because it's a storm warning here okay so it's it's a definitely a need for you to say no uh, and I said that actually with that protection, right? Like needing to learn to say no, having strict boundaries here with people. Right. We've got the uh, creative expression and order. You have a book inside of you that, m that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write. This kind of like also feels like you may need to go through some type of healing that asks you to be a little bit more creative when it comes to how you are going to express this trauma. Could be through painting, could be through writing, it could be through singing. It's definitely something that you want to vocalize, but it's something that needs to come from within. So there's definitely a need for you to Take, take some time off here, all right? There's definitely a need for you to take time off. And you also have like the pillar of light. Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle, which is kind of like also telling me that you may need some type of Reiki to kind of like protect your uh, energy as well as charge up and make some changes or unblock your uh, block chakras here. All right, because there is some type of leak here in one of your chakras is what I'm getting through. Let me see with this deck. Maybe it will show me which chakras. Cool. Well, the solar plexus chakra did show itself. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to keep it at the solar plexus chakra for you, which is all about your free will, your willpower, your creative being, your um, self-control, your self-word and your confidence, your ego. So it feels like someone has been a little bit poking in that energy and it needs to be a little bit polished by protecting your boundaries here because someone or something has been trying to make you feel insecure is what I'm picking up on. It feels like you have this very strong sense of wanting to fulfill your needs, wanting to fulfill your wishes. However, I feel like whatever has happened here over the time, it has made you feel depleted. It has made you feel like losing your passion, feeling demotivated, feeling a little bit like stuck alone or some of you may have felt for a long time even lonely 
there are a lot of very challenging energies here that you may have to deal with. Let's see what more. Wow. We got the chewed and expression with closed off and guarded. We got the rebirth and we've got the spy watching. Bottom of the deck is the detachment. I do strongly feel like you have been detaching your energy. And maybe or perhaps either you did that after speaking out the truth or you never truly got to that point because you felt so vulnerable, you felt so kind of like attacked by another person that you close yourself off and this is someone that is still spying on you, that's kind of like watching you, but I feel like you've, you've really gone MIA is what I get here, Taurus, for someone specific in your life. Tell me more about this. Wow. Got the Ace of Wands. There is, like, there is this opportunity, okay? There's definitely this opportunity that wants to come in. This is like a clean new slate as well. Someone reaching out for the olive branch here, but the Three of Swords is kind of like saying that you still haven't overcome whatever has been said that hurt you here. And that you're still kind of like, Dwelling in, in, in the pain of what has been said here. Nine of Swords. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. This is someone that does want to proceed forward and bring some type of harmony and balance here. But for you, you may feel like it's too much of a hard work. And I don't know if this person has really expressed it yet, but you may feel like, oh, it... That would be a mountain to climb. And I'm also here like to please this person. You may feel like it's a mountain to climb to please this person. How do you feel about this energy, uh, Taurus? King of Swords. So you're, you're thinking rather than feeling right now. It's like it's been one too many times. This doesn't make sense. You want to follow your, your head rather than your heart here. But you see, the, the, the heart is also here. Whether you want to exclude that energy or not, you can tell yourself a lot of things to convince your mind that your decision is right. However, you're running away from your feelings as well. It feels like you're being too harsh on yourself here. That's what I get. Like you got the emperor there. It's like uh, you want to structureize yourself. You just want it to be simple, right? You, like a simple yes or a simple no, a simple truth. Some things are not that simple in life. And I feel like your mind just truly wants to have like a simple yes or a simple no. Four of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. Damn. A lot of dishonesty or mistrust within the connection. And that eventually leads to both of you trying to test each other to a point where both of you are running away from one another. So the Four of Cups is kind of like saying that you're a little bit tired and bored from these games, from these ego games. Yeah, this feels like the rise of Taurus, like the rise of independence. And you're, you're, you're in your utmost stubborn position. You know, like, you know what they say, like Taurus can be super stubborn. This is you being like overly stubborn. It's like being proud to be that stubborn. And like, that's what I'm getting here. Like, you're very strict. You don't want to hear any nonsense, any anything that could convince you to give up your independence or your freedom here. What is there? 
intentions what are their intentions please the knight of pentacles so don't take quick decisions they want to move things forward slowly but surely I mean, they want you to see that both of you are suffering. And it's like you're trying to prove them like, I ain't suffering. It's only you that suffers. And they, they're like, no, time will tell that you will also suffer. And you're like, no, no, I'm sorry. This is, this is how it's going to be. I feel like this no is like you putting like the stop board to someone like, no. And the other person is like, I know you love me. I know you're going to come back. You're like, nope. Intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. Who has the distorted view? I don't know. Buddy, I don't know. Who is the one with the distorted view? Be your true self. And calm and chaos. It feels like you're trying to stay calm in the chaos here. Um, I see some of you just really unwinding yourself. Checking in with Netflix. Turning your phone off. You're like, I'm going to prove this. MF. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's the type of energy that you're having. Like, I'm going to prove this person. Like... You ain't going to mess with me. Mm. Well, well, two of these cards came out kind of like reversed, and I understand why because you are avoiding having a a grounding conversation to set up like some rules here like internally you have it all planned out you know your truth you know what you tolerate and what not and that person went too far but now comes the actual thing of trying to convince or tell that person where this is all coming from right like I feel like you missed out telling this person in like more grounding energy is in like this, this, and this. And I feel like this, this talk is going to be needed. And I don't think that this person is going to be able to, um, to let this go that easily. Yeah, the devil. Something is restricting you. The devil with the judgment. Now, this is a this is an energy saying we all have flaws, we all have like a dark side, and we need to come to judgment day on what where we where we went wrong, right? Um, that's what I'm kind of like getting here. Or even if it's not your own dark side, it could have been something else. That represents the devil. But there is a judgment that is needed. It's like judging some type of a dark situation here. The beefer. Okay, that's... That's kind of like a sweet energy saying, like, you got to keep on working hard towards your goals and stay optimistic, stay positive. Let's see. I'm going to read out the beefer for you. Right. Hard worker, loyal, tireless, and family first. The beefer personality is a welcomed side. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express it by way of the earth element, a home, a financial stability. Although a beefer doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. Well, that's definitely Taurusian energy. The beefer card appears when the 
when the task at hand requires a long-term steady effort it can also signify that it is time for some karma yoga yeah positive energies and keep on working towards your goals because i feel like here we have the earthworm which i feel like is a representation of the other person where they are going through some spiritual changes and shifts and they're starting to learn a lot more and i feel like you are someone that has much more like experience in this area whereas your person does not have and it feels like it's saying like be calm towards them because they're learning all right they're definitely learning a lot of things right now i'm going to um read this earthworm as well because it's been too long that i've not use these cards shy hesitant and reluctant to share in her vision we all have felt the wolves of the earthworm at some point along the way the earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field others around you may seem wise and experienced but exactly exactly but it's important to remember that they once felt earthworm energy too. This card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope. Mastery takes time and you're on the right track. Besides, rumor has it that a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights. Exactly. It's something that you already know and now you're having to lead that person. All right lead this person into their own spiritual awakening or learning their lesson initiation see that's the ace of wands that's initiation energy is the will to create the power the motivation to like okay i'm going to take this job and i'm going to finish it with success right when you are being initiated into the divine mysteries of light, love, and power, there are moments of profound challenge. The key is to find the light within the challenge, the opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. With compassion and cleverness, you will not burn during your challenges. You shall thrive. So you will not get empty-handed if you do take kind of like the responsibility to guide this person, right? Page of Swords is the outcome. So keep an eye on them, all right? Um, I mean, you're, you're going to stay interested in it, right? But you're not going to be too open. You're going to keep some truth to yourself. You're going to watch their behavior first. You're going to watch if what they're saying is true, or if their actions speak louder than their words. Like, you have obviously the, the right to do so as well. So give them a chance, but keep your eyes open. Yeah. Ten of Swords. <sighs> ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. With the moon at the bottom of the deck. Well, I think... <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, but it feels like you're going to find out something more. Something more here. That you may not like and maybe you're a little bit afraid of finding that out but this needs to come to light so that you can find the full circle of why this all is happening like there is one extra missing point or a missing key in this scenario that you still haven't found out and perhaps you're a little bit scared of finding it out that's why you're kind of like you know that you need to take distance but the thing is you need to hear about this you need to hear about this ten of swords and i feel like with the nine of wands you're protecting yourself right right this is going to be a huge lesson though mm -mm -mm -mm. let's see with the angel deck and then i think that's about it angel of self soul love time to look at how you value yourself Issues of self-love. Yes. Well, that was 
quite a deal. I hope that this message resonated. Let me know in the comments below and drop a like if it did. And I'll catch you soon. Take care.